Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new five star island tour by JB and Millie. Hey, hey! Um, so today we are setting sail for Cinnabar Island, which I believe is a Pokemon reference. But, Millie, I don't think that's going to be the theme of this episode. Can you explain more about Indeed that? Indeed it's not. So let me tell you about the island on the journey. So, for all the island seems to have a Pokemon-inspired name, they have actually taken influence from Doctor Who for this island. So, in that case, I guess we can be expecting some blue telephone boxes and... I don't really know what else they could do, so I'm really excited to find out, as me and JB are both Doctor Who fans, I'm looking forward to see what items they've actually found that really fits in with the theme. So, as JB also said, this is a five star island tour, so the standard should be really high, so I'm really excited to see what this is going to look like. And also, um, if you guys want to comment down below your favourite incarnation of the Doctor, if you are familiar with the TV show. Um, personally, I'm gonna say maybe elements of Peter Capaldi. I've kind of had like a soft spot for Sylvester McCoy's run, but ultimately I think it has to be David Tennant, although I'm sure if there was more of Christopher Eggleston, mm. it might be. What about you? Tennant. Tennant. Without a shadow of a doubt, I love David Tennant. So let's have a conversation in the description, or well, in the comment section below, and hopefully... We'll be able to find something nice to talk about. Oh, and here we go. Ooh. Oh, Zell. Hey, Zell. It's a Cinnabar. Wow. Wow, I love the. Oh, I think that's one of the birds that we recently unpacked. I'm not sure though. Remember to check out those videos. Ah, hey. Oh, that's the Pokemon reference. That's fantastic. That's amazing. You should be able to see the at coming up on the screen now. Which is at KLF, all capitalised, then E-L-D-S-T-E-I-N. Make sure to give them a follow and we'll also be displaying any other information about the creator on the screen and also in the description below. Hey. Oh, they're thinking now. Oh. And I believe the Cinnabar Island is also referred to as the Orange Island, I think, so maybe that's where those came into play. So, another Pokemon reference here, right, JV? Yeah, I believe this is the Ultra Ball. Oh, I just love how they've incorporated they've got the gold into that. I've got an Islander's home. Lucky Islander, all with gold roses at the side. Maybe that's their favourite. Another one, maybe a Jock one here, based on the... Um, the little oh. mitt, but uh, the mitt hand C and the weights. Yeah, it's a bench press type thing. Oh, there's another villager there. Very the orange JB, that's your style. This is really oh, nice. We've got a little tea home. party in the garden. I think they've done what we've done, like blue house, but also they've got a yellow on that villager, so that's where the yellow flowers come into play. Mm. Is that Zell's house? I believe it I'd is. I'd like to think I'd recognise it. I'm gonna check. Yay! Yay. Hey, Zell! Zell's awesome. Get oh, back like to a our school. island, buddy. Oh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, I kind of wish I'd researched more on the Cinnabar Islands, because this is giving me very much, like, starter town in a Pokemon game vibe. Mm. I wonder if it's stylized off, like, the layout. I'd be really curious to know. There's a dog. <laughs> like a little pond. That looks so good. I love the little anchor, we've not unlocked that yet though, it looks really cool. I wonder if that's Gulliver, or maybe a fishing tournament. Mm, maybe, we've not had any yet. I like this company. <gasps> I can see a playground JV, this is for you. Oh, I love that table. Oh, it. oh and the hopscotch. hopscotch! Is that a custom? I think so. That's something that we're going to have to make sure to ask them. That is genius. And all the colourings and everything. That's so good. And there's the two variations of pink slide. I didn't even know there was two 
the pink slide variations. The almost the one on the right looks like it would fit into like the more cute. Yeah, it does. So honestly, that's awesome. I think that would be great. Oh. Wow, I really like this. And all the bright colours, like the bright colour for the table corresponds with the bright colour for the hopscotch. And also like the quirkiness, the fact that it's like the half tyres but customised all the yeah. seats. That's really cool. Very playground -y. Oh, a little gumball machine. Oh, like a little DIY area here. Works there. Oh, and we can see a few hints of what's going on up there with some zen type elements. That looks exciting. Oh, they seem so enthusiastic showing us around. That's They're so, so nice. sweet. Oh. Ooh, we're heading this way. So we've got another residence home there with black flowers. They're really sweet. Oh, a nice little log cabin home. That's really nice. Ooh, oh, oh! Oh my gosh! There's like the emperor. Oh, is it the imperial emperor butterfly? They've got that made there, which is fantastic. That's not my favourite butterfly in the game. Oh, that. and the Queen Alexandra's bird wing. This looks really nice. They've got the triceratops twice now. The pop-up and also the skeleton, the fossil. Oh, A little basketball court to the so side good. there. Shoot some hoops. JB's not good at shooting. Oh, so heading over to the side, yeah? Oh, that seems to be like a rainbow type thing. Whoa. Wow. Oh no. Sorry. Whoa, look at that field of flowers. There are so many. I kind of want to look run at all them. Not like run, but. Oh, I just love these cherry blossom lamps mixed in with these bamboo. This like, all looks... Oh, this is fantastic. This is literally a zen picnic, a zen campsite type this thing. This is so creative. Hey, and JB, look, you can customise the picnic baskets to that colour. So Whoa. that's something you might want to do for your zen garden. Definitely. Oh, I'm excited now. I want to go through those flowers, they look so nice. Are we? Whoa, I think we are. Um, Don't run. I look, run. so purple, blue, yellow, orange, oh, I'm blended, red. Mm. This is fantastic. The white. That was beautiful. Oh. Mm. So we see that there's some space here. I wonder if they're planning on doing anything specific for their garden. Oh, got, what was that? What was that flower called? You know what it's Oh, the Lily of the Valley. So that means that they're a five star island. I think that's the quickest JB's ever gone into a house. Oh. Oh, it's just like a diner living room. So they've made like that into a corner. Circle. So, yeah. I thought it was they've a They've got diner really circle. nice standing light. I love the fireplace. I'm really scared with the books above it though. I love my books. I would be so scared having them near a fire. <laughs> this seems like a nice fuse between traditional and modern. Almost like it's been mm. converted. Like, really? You know, like the corner. Yeah, side. like Ooh. some real. Oh, wow. I love this. this wow, and I've not seen that wall in before. I like it. Oh, wow. they've got an Islander portrait there. Let's wave to the Islander. I want these books. Me too. I love my books. This is such a good office. This is pretty much what I'd want my little office me. area to be. With these bookshelves. And there's like clear themes, you know. There's nothing like too scattered around the rooms. It's just nice. A really nice place. Mm. See, they've been done a really understated thing where even if they've seen lots of things they liked, they've really wanted a clear concept as opposed to just including everything. Like here's like a, they've used diner things not as a diner but more mm. like a really nice kitchen worktop. I like that. They've got the um, iron wood things here. 
chest freezer, microwave, mixer. They've oh, really incorporated spice, everything right? really nice. And like you said, the Diana clock even as well. I love the walls. Me too. It's kind of a honeycomb effect, but with a different colour to it. Yeah, I know you've not seen it, but it looks like one of those like things from like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I like it a lot. What else is it? it almost looks like the first Doctor's TARDIS. Mm. So maybe that will come into it a bit later when we see what's... Wow, there. again, really understated, but to stick to a clear concept of a bathroom. So you've got the shower, you've got the sink, toilet. Oh, I like that towel right. Mm, it's really nice. They've done really well. I'm really impressed with them for, like just stick into a concept as opposed mm. to making it like an antique shop where you just have one of everything scattered everywhere. It almost seems like it could be what I'm work like a bit like what I'm working on a military right now. It could almost be based off like their real life house or mm. something like that. Oh with the pet bed at the end of the room, that's really sweet. Oh so they can live Oh my gosh can- <laughs> I never knew you could sit in it. Look at that. Oh well, and they've kept these, like, the furniture's nice and consistent. Mm, they have. This is all really, really nice. So they've got a cat and a hamster, I guess, with that cat scratching Oh, could this even be a dog? For, the, for a dog, and a, a hamster, and a cat. Or, likewise, it could just be both for a cat. Or maybe the hamster grows. Anyway, it's amazing. I escape. love that. I want to... I love how it just seems so clean and clear. Are we going into the basement? I'm scared. Mm. Please don't be creepy. Please don't be creepy. Oh, oh, oh music like, room. Oh, yes. this is brilliant. This is like my favourite type with these like brick wall that just yeah. seems like it's been converted. Almost like an American style basement where you can stand up in hey, it. Hey JB, and... it's really, you know. Oh, it is. I really want my saxophone, but drum kit. Oh, and there's a little place to sleep. So maybe okay, if you're listening out there, JV wants his saxophone back. <laughs> so maybe it can double as a spare room. I love my saxophone. Okay, so we're heading back outside now. Let's see what else is hiding around the island. Maybe something epic. See, again, and I just noticed this today, and I think Millie kind of poked a bit of fun at me. I noticed that the grass, like, it was a different colour and everything seemed weird. I don't know if that's just me going a bit, like, nuts today, but I swear there's, like, almost like what oh. the summer equivalent of the cherry blossom event is. A lovely swimming area. I want bounce the ball. One. Yay! And then another lovely picnic area made with the cherry blossom picnic thing. Mm. Oh, there's like a nice little observatory. Oh, sorry. Oh. I love how they like the feet and like just do a little dance on the side of like, they are literally like little kids, these creatures that they are. Why are you running into them? I keep stopping before I get to them. Oh, I like this fence. <gasps> I think I've seen a reference. Let's not look yet, let's not look yet. Is this a sushi bar or a ca- oh, cafe. It's a lovely little cafe. I need a coffee. Oh, cafe. Let's then have a coffee with them. Oh, no. Oh, I love this furniture. Oh, JB can't reach. Can't reach. <laughs> Come on, JB. Don't blink. Whatever you do, don't blink. No. I need help. Sahara! Hey Sahara. Whoa. Wow. Speechless. 
Oh my! Oh gosh, that's like the the Doctor Who logo that they introduced during Matt Smith's era. So don't blink. That's obviously a reference to David Tennant's episode the, with the Weeping Angels we, called Blink. We quite clearly have a Christopher Eccleston outfit, yes. followed by David Tennant. And if you oh. look over there, there's is it Matt Smith after that? Yeah. So there's the bow tie that is um, Eccleston, Tennant, Matt Smith, and then that gas mask. I guess is a reference to the Empty Child, the Christopher Eccleston story. Oh, there's the TARDIS in the middle. Bad David wolf. Tennant's 3D glasses. Peter Capaldi's jacket. Oh, and the Cyberman. And maybe that, um... Oh, sorry. That um, space yeah. mask is a reference to River Song's astronaut art. Oh, there's the Cyberman. This is perfect. Like, as a hardcore Whovian for many years, that's like... Whovian. Whovian. It's the fandom. Hashtag Whovian for life. Oh, really, that is stunning. Like, because I guess I'm not really used to Doctor Who being anything too international. I'm used to it being very kind of English, British. And obviously it's possible that these players could be from the UK. But just to see it on, like, a game that you play. And, you know, it's a nice mm -hmm. mixture of fandoms. Oh, I wonder who their favourite Doctor is. Oh, I want to go back to that Doctor. Oh! Wow, like an outside work area for I love that. Sisters. Every time they've been in the shop, I've kind of like not been interested. But seeing it out in the open, you that With the wind blowing yeah. the kimono stand. Yeah, I like it. Oh, I regret mm. not buying one now, because I got a really nice offer for an Imperial one. Did you? I kind of wish I bought it. Okay, where are we heading here? Oh, there's a little bit of Oh, and here's the standard poker ball. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Just look when I talk at that. That is That's stunning. amazing. I love how they've done that. You've got to catch them all. How creative to use the fountain. I like the button. Yeah. I love oh, it. What's the flag? Oh, it's a Cinderquil. The, um, the Cinderquil was the Generation 2 Johto starter, you know, the fire type, the equivalent of that bunny in Sword and Shield. That was stunning. That was so Look, nice. everything from the Pokemon theme to, of course, the Doctor Who theme. Thank you, Alonzi. Look, I'm so happy that we were able to come to this island. This is very you, Jamie. It's made me want to do like a full blown like rewatch of the Doctor Who episodes. No. <laughs> what do we know? Oh, oh, and also comment your favorite episode of Doctor Who. I think mine will have to be the story arc, Human Nature and the Family of Blood. If you don't remember Millie, that's the episode where David Tennant's doctor, he makes himself human. Oh! And he like escapes and like Martha's like the maid and they're in the school. Yes, I do remember. That was a great episode. Oh, I love this so much. So, um, I guess as usual now, I think I've personally got a lot of questions that I want to ask the creator of this island. So, we'll be doing another Q&A session where I'll be asking the questions and Millie will be role-playing as the creator giving the answers. So, we'll see you back at Militopia Airport. Okay guys, so I think as always we can agree that that was an amazing island. The Pokemon inspiration was Something that I'd not anticipated, they just kind of sold it as a Doctor Who, like, inspired island. So, there were some lovely in, um, surprises on the island, and so to that end, we have quite a few questions for the creator. As always, JB will read the questions, and I'll read the answers the creator gave. 
Okay, so the first question that we asked was how many hours has this amazing island taken you to make? Um, I've played for over 425 hours. I redid the entire thing about halfway through there. And what was your favourite part of the island? Probably my giant flower field. It took a lot of planning to get the flowers to match up and I'm really proud of it. Now we loved all the amazing concepts. The Pokeballs were especially surprising. Where did you get the inspiration from for everything? You know, it was items or flowers or general interests? I knew I wanted to have aspects of my favourite things like Doctor Who and Pokemon throughout my island. A lot of my inspiration came from Twitter and watching other people build their islands too. Well yeah, we really felt the vibe of a Pokemon starter village, especially with the island's name Cinnabar connecting so tightly to it. Is that kind of what you were going for? No, it was just a happy accident. Mm, it was awesome. We really, really did like that a lot. Now, the hopscotch bits was um, especially genius, and I think Millie definitely appreciated that. We've not seen anything like it before, though. Do you have a creator code that we could share for it? Um, I did make it myself, but I've not uploaded it yet, so I don't have a creator code. Wow, that is amazing. Because, again, like we say, we've never seen that before, so that was definitely a nice surprise. Mm, definitely. Do you have any plans for the outside of your house? Mm, I'm not sure yet. Um, I want to finish the inside of my house and then work on the outside, but it definitely needs more flowers. We love the house. We felt like it was a real place. What inspired the design? Nothing really. Honestly, I've just recently started working on my house, so I wanted each room to have a purpose. I've always wanted a real life library, so I had to have one on Animal Crossing. And my music room was mostly just because I had loads of cool instruments. <coughs> And who is, or who was, your favourite Doctor? Easily Matt Smith. Wow, that is awesome. Not many people say that, but I think he is definitely overrated, like underrated. Like I especially liked his debut episode, The Eleventh Hour, with the Atraxi. And oh, his theme song is so good, so I really don't blame them for favouring Matt Smith. Um, but in terms of actual episodes themselves, do you have a favourite Doctor Who episode or story arc? Um, my all-time favourite episode is Vincent and the Doctor. I personally think it's one of the best episodes. I also really love A Good Man Goes to War and Nightmare in Silver. Yeah, see, Vincent and the Doctor is always one that stands out, especially that, that ending. So emotional. I'm in the process of getting Millie to watch those Matt Smith episodes with me, so if you're interested in Millie's suffering, please comment below. No, please no. Now, the tenth question we went on to was concerning kind of this more Cinnabar Island theme. So, it was, have you been playing the new Sword and Shield DLC? I have, and I'm enjoying it a lot. Now, finally, do you have any more concepts for your island, um, either Doctor Who or Pokemon related? Not at this point. I definitely have some art pieces I want to add to my Doctor Who area when Red comes round. Um... The Sunflowers and Starry Night is the two that I'm really wanting to add. See, that does definitely make sense. Going back to that Vincent and the Doctor episode, of course, um, Vincent gifted that Sunflowers to Amy, so really, really, that does fit in so well with the theme. So, thank you so much for watching this. We really, really enjoyed this island tour, especially with the kind of fandoms close to our hearts personally like Doctor Who and I guess more of the Pokemon type that vibe. Um, if you ever want to see your island featured you can find us on Twitter at jmillyvids or alternatively just feel free to comment down below and we will get to your comment as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching we hope to find you in the next episode. JB and Millie. JB and Millie.